How long has it been? So Alda and I have finally been able to pull ourselves away from all the build for now and take some time off and go on a little camping trip. Right now we are heading to Briar Island. We've been to Briar Island before. Uh, we camped with a bunch of our friends at about the same time last year, I wanna say. Unfortunately, at that time, I had a little accident on my leg, so I couldn't really move around much. So we didn't really get to explore a lot of the island. So since this weekend is a long weekend, we decided we're gonna go on this trip and explore some of Briar Island. So yeah, let's go. we need to take to get to Briar Island um, and so we're waiting at the first one um, the ferry leaves at every hour um, so we have maybe about 10 more minutes of wait ahead of us it is kind of getting late uh, we might reach Briar Island quite late today but we'll see how it goes Looks like we are right on time to catch the next ferry. Also, I was wrong before. It did not take us 45 minutes. It took us only like 20 minutes to get to this ferry. To, ferry point. To ferry point.
So we've arrived at our spot. This is the same spot we camped at last year. It is a bit chilly, but honestly nothing, a little fire can't fix. And luckily there's no fire ban, so that's amazing. I think we're gonna get a little fire started and yeah, we'll see where the night takes us. It didn't get dark by the time we got here, which is awesome, but the sun is going down. Right there. You get the chairs. Call a boy. What is it?
one to us. This one's mine. What is that? Cause just cost. gonna be a lot of food we're gonna have like a lot of leftovers now for the fun part let's get my seasoning pouch if we bought like an empty container why I don't know What is it? Chili powder? Yes, please. Who's that for? Color. The answer. <laughs> You too, don't worry. I'm not going to dump it in the plate, I'm just going to lay it in the plate. Okay, okay. Like yeah. Do we have uh, peri peri sauce? Uh, no, we have hot sauce. Okay, will that work? Yeah. I did get a bit burnt. The secret ingredient? Well, HP sauce makes everything better. Yeah, Char Charlie told us that. Okay. We're gonna eat now. We actually should have started cooking a little bit sooner before it got dark at least but then we met an interesting person and then we were talking to him for a while and so we kind of lost track of time but we're gonna enjoy this meal see you tomorrow
cara. Calma, boy. Calma, cara. Calma, boy. Calma, cara. Okay, now that was a beautiful sunrise. We just didn't want to do anything. We just want to sit in front of it and drink our coffee. And now we're going to make some breakfast. I have some leftovers from yesterday that I'm just going to put in like a wrap. That's the plan. We're going to have some breakfast now and then maybe explore some more of this island. What is a color boy? What is it? A rose hip. I've heard some really great things about these rose hips. Apparently they contain a high concentration of vitamin C. And I believe someone told me it's more than oranges. When we realized we were coming here today, I was super excited because I wanted to harvest some of these. Usually people make jams, jellies, you can, you can, it's like a berry, you can do all kinds of things with it. But I think I'm just gonna maybe dry it and use it in like tea or maybe make a jam. We'll see. I'm gonna find like the softest ones. Ooh, look at that. Look at how big that is. Usually rose hips, like regular rose hips, aren't this big. Like these beach roses, they're wild. They're wild and they get really big. They almost look like a fruit on its own, which is crazy. remove all the seeds because apparently the seeds like make your throat itch so you gotta make sure you get all the fuzzy bit out and then you can eat this give it a bit of a rinse because we don't know what's been on there <laughs> it has like the texture of um what is it like a plum guava it tastes like a guava and it's, it's got like a tight yeah. tang but it's got like the texture of a of a plum or a peach that's a big score
good boy. 